I want to talk about journaling and journaling is something that I didn't really understand for a long time. And I thought it was hard and I thought it was silly. And I'm like, why do I need to journal? You know, I'm not going to keep a diary until I started doing it the right way because for so long I understood it the wrong way. So what I do is I get these cute little flowery notebooks from like Amazon and what I used to do is just start writing and I thought that it was pointless and I absolutely got nothing out of it. But one day I was sitting there about to start journaling and I felt God say like, why don't you just listen? So if you think about it, we say that we pray all the time, but when we're praying, we're talking to God. And if we're talking, we're not listening. So what I started doing, and it completely changed my life a few years ago, is I will go first thing in the morning, I'll have my coffee, I'll have my notebook and a pen, and I'll just sit and I'll ask God, I'll say, Lord, what do you want me to do today? What do you want to say to me? What are you trying to tell me? And I'll just be quiet and listen. And sometimes that's the hardest thing to do because I'm like, let's go, let's get this done onto the next thing. Like super, let's move forward. Can't do that. So once I started listening, it seemed like it took like five or 10 minutes. It was probably 30 seconds. And I just started writing, you know, what was on my heart. And it was definitely not my writing. It was, um, totally God. And I have, my life has changed so much since that. And I have figured so many things out and gotten so many answers and had so much insight and it's completely changed my life. But you are allowed to take 10 or 15 minutes in your morning and you have to take it because that's a time for reflection And if we're constantly moving forward and we're not reflecting back on anything, then there's not going to be that processing in those memories. It's just going to be that constant state of chaos because we're not being proactive. We're just reacting all the time. And that's not a healthy place. And that's where a lot of anxiety comes from is, is the worry. And so I want you to start taking 15 minutes out of your day, get up 15 minutes earlier, get your coffee, get a notebook, get a pen, And just ask God what he's trying to say to you and to place that on your heart and just start writing away and your life will be a completely different place.